Hi everyone, it's Johnny Seed here again and today I thought I'd just do a quick um, competition entry for Psych in the Valley's Top 5 Kinks Songs competition. So these aren't actually going to be in any particular order because I think they're all equally fantastic. I think the Kinks are probably a little bit underrated actually when it comes to the pantheon of 60s and early 70s uh, British rock and pop. Uh, for me they're easily up there with the, the Rolling Stones and the Beatles. I'd say I definitely prefer them to the Who as well. Um, but I guess that's all relative. <laughs> so unfortunately I don't have actually anything to physically to show, show you. I don't actually physically own any Kinks records, which is, I know is, is shocking. I did have a, um, a cassette back in the 80s of a probably a greatest hits, which I played over and over and over again. Uh, but since then it's all been uh, digital unfortunately, so I'm definitely on the lookout for any Kinks uh, albums on CD and or vinyl. Anyway, uh, I'll get into the uh, into the list. Okay, number one on my list is going to be, or first on the list, uh, these aren't actually in order, any order, like I said, is going to be Ape Man. Um, when I first saw this competition and I started thinking about Kinks and what would be my five, uh, ever since then, uh, this is the one song that's been stuck in my head <laughs> for the last hour, three or four days, around and round and round. So, uh, yeah, as far as songwriting goes and writing a catchy hook, it has to be Ape Man on the list. Next I'm going to go with Waterloo Sunset. Now I was very very fortunate enough to see uh, Elliot Smith play a gig in the UK um, at the Royal Festival Hall uh, which overlooks Waterloo Bridge in London on the Thames and he played Waterloo Sunset so that's that song does have a very special uh, memory for me uh, for that gig and you know obviously it's, you know, it's a great song as well isn't it so oh, next up we have Lola Probably the first Kinks song I was ever aware of, really, and knowing that it was by the Kinks. Um, great lyrics, uh, the, the line um, in dark brown voice, I just think is, is completely poetic. Uh, I love the bit towards the end where the percussion comes in and it all sounds a little bit like the Stones. And also there's a clip of it on uh, from Top of the Pops from 1970, uh, which uh, always stuck in my mind, because in the background there's a, there's a girl dancing with a really, really cool hat, which I always thought she looked really cool. Um, I guess that's an aside. All right, number two, uh, we have Shangri-La, probably my current favourite Kink song. Uh, I discovered the album, uh, Arthur, maybe seven or eight months ago and it just blew me away um, so yeah Shangri-La is probably my current favourite kink song the middle section just I think is amazing and just the, the way it progresses all throughout it you know and if I had to be pushed for a, a favourite kink song going back over the years I'd probably go with Victoria uh, that's just one that uh, blows me away every time I hear it and The Fall did an amazing cover version of it as well um, which is equally equally as good in my opinion um, so yeah that was my five kink songs sorry it was a little bit brief I didn't actually have anything to show um, but I did have an opinion so I thought I'd share it okay thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time